A local university is stepping up and tuning up, preparing to cheer on the Furman Paladins at the NCAA tournament this week as Furman's marching band plays in Ireland. I love this story. Our Peyton Furtado got to speak with both North Greenville University and Furman students as they set off for Orlando. Peyton, how this happened? Well, Nigel, the Furman Marching Band has been planning this trip to be a part of the St. Patrick's Day Parade for about three years now. Little did they know this was going to be the year their basketball team made it to the biggest college basketball tournament in the world. Be it the luck of the draw or the luck of the Irish, North Greenville University's marching band will play on the Furman Paladins at the NCAA first round. I'm just, I'm still taking it in. So. <laughs> we learned the Furman fight song. It's not an easy one, but uh, we, we put some time in to, to, to learn that. Furman's marching band was invited to play in Dublin for the 2021 St. Patrick's Day Festival. It would be the first time Furman's band had traveled outside the country since 1986, but there was just one problem. At the start of COVID, nobody was traveling at that time. So the trip was postponed from 21 to 22, and finally it became a reality and we were finally be able to make that trip. The year the Furman Paladins made it to the NCAA for the first time since 1980. Here we are in Ireland and they were all gathered around one computer screen on Sunday night to see Selection Sunday. And they cheered and yelled right here in our hotel in Limerick, Ireland, just you know, wishing that they could be a part of that. We had a little watch party and we were running around our entire music department hooping and hollering. Luckily, Furman had already drafted former student and North Greenville marching band director Gary Roden for assistance. Being an alum, I, I couldn't say no. Uh, so it's, it's a great opportunity. Uh, excited for our students. They don't, you know, us being a Division II school, we don't get opportunities like this very often. Students like Marquel Littlejohn, who had never been on a plane, let alone had an opportunity like this. And after several weeks of hard work preparing for Orlando, the trumpet player says he's thanking his lucky stars to be here. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I never expected it, um, especially from being from a Division II school and being asked to be able to do this. It's amazing. I'm so ecstatic for it, and I cannot wait. The North Greenville Crusaders will cheer on the Paladins this Thursday as they play Virginia. And those kids got there around an hour ago in Orlando. Live in Greenville, I'm Peyton Furtado. I'm for WYFF News 4.